Welcome level uppers to another live reaction time. We are going to take a look at the first trailer for A Wrinkle in Time uh, directed by Ava DuVernay with Whoopi Goldberg. Mm -hmm. Well, not with Whoopi Goldberg, man. What are you doing to me here? No? No. <laughs> no. Oprah Sorry. Winfrey's in this. As Oprah well as a lot Winfrey. of other great actors. It's, it's got a pretty stellar cast, but uh, none of us have watched this yet as far as I know. Casey, have you watched this? Nope. Yeah, Casey uh, here, excited, of course, though. Lucy Wrinkle Fox. Time, huge part of my uh, childhood. It's been a very long time. I didn't I know this. that many people that read the books. It was required reading for a lot of people in elementary yeah, school. Did, did you it guys read the entire required series? required reading in uh, elementary oh, okay, school. See, I was that weirdo. That's you read weirdo. all of them. That's what, yeah, I read all four. Okay. Well, uh, let's let's check out this trailer. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a three, two, one for when it starts, Casey. All right. Three, two, one, go. What if we are here for a reason? What if we are a part of something All right, okay. truly divine? I can tell that's Chris Pine already. Imagine right. 91 billion yep. light years traveled like that. I love Chris Pine. Oh, sweet dreams. Interesting uh, song choice. Your choices. father has accomplished something extraordinary. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's trapped by a darkness that's actively spreading throughout the universe, and the only one who can stop it. Oh wow, uh, Mindy Kaling, right? You. Yeah. Be a warrior. I'll try. Costume and set design is pretty cool. Yeah, the costume work looks really interesting. Uh. Oh wow! Didn't expect to see him. I didn't know any of the casting for this movie, and this is amazing so far. Yeah, the world looks uh, amazing. I'm, I'm really digging the. Uh, yeah, no, this looks fantastic. Oh, that's creepy. Are you lost? That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Wow. The only thing faster than light. Okay, I was expecting something cheesier than that with that last line, but actually I'm okay with that. I thought it was gonna be like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's hope or faith or something like that, but it's no, mm -hmm. it's, it's darkness. Kind of get like a Kingdom Hearts vibe when you when you do that kind of stuff, light versus dark. That uh, that looked That's pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. fast. And yeah, I just no, remembered I'm, that I don't I remember nearly as much of the books as I thought I did. Right, it's been a very <laughs> long time. I probably read it in I want to say like second or third grade. No, how, we were in like fourth or fifth, I think. Really? How about you, Casey? Part. When did you read it? Uh oh, God. I, I, it's been at least 20 years now. Maybe yeah. Probably more. Yeah, it's been a while. I think it does need more Whoopi Goldberg, though. <laughs> it looks like Chris Pine is, is trapped in Hotline Bling. <laughs> trapped in <laughs> Hotline <laughs> Bling. <laughs> that looked kind of look like there, didn't it? Uh, the, the, the volleyball thing I did not like. That was That was creepy. Scary. Yeah. The, scary. the bouncing of the balls at the end? Yeah. Oh, see, I love yeah. it. That, that I do remember. Um, that I do yeah. like. Just overall, I mean, Ava DuVernay is pretty well known for... Uh, for the visuals and uh, mm -hmm. and a female director, another one. And I read about this. This is a hundred million dollar plus production. So wow. it's crazy to see. Right. And, and and obviously Wonder Woman didn't spearhead this because this movie's been you know in production for a while. But it's right. it's cool to see this sudden move towards female directors. Not only just a female director, but a black female director mm -hmm. uh, getting oh, a one hundred sure. million dollar plus budget. That that's great. Uh, and and a diverse cast too. And I have a feeling that has a lot to do with that as well. Uh, you know, her right. bringing in a diverse cast. So that that's great mm -hmm. news all around. And uh, it looks it looks really good. I'm really feeling this. I thought the song choice was pretty cool. I'm usually not the biggest fan of taking these like classic songs and getting like a you know a, a cover of it. it. It seems to happen too often now. But I, I felt like Sweet Dreams was a good choice for this. For I like this trailer. it. Fits it fits mm -hmm. very well um, for both the the story itself and the the audio, the way that they recreated it. Yeah, for the trailer. Um, to, to where it actually worked pretty well, unlike some of the other ones that you dislike. One thing I did notice, and I, God, again, I don't remember that well, but the children talked like once or twice in that trailer, and the children are really like the main focus, though, of the book, mm -hmm. aren't they? Right. That's, I think they want to give, because the, the, the books itself really, it's not, yes, they're the main characters, right? The three of them. But there's so many different players in the game. Right. You know, so to get everybody in to make sure that they you could see every single one of them. With the kids, I mean, they're 
they're memorable because they were the main parts of the books, but it was the other people in these books that really stood out that you remembered. Um, right, yeah. You know, Oprah's character, Mindy Kaling's character, um, Chris Pine's character, even um, Zach Galifianakis' character, who I didn't I didn't realize that he was going to be um, in this, let alone the villain. Yeah, I, I honestly have no idea who anybody's going to play. I think that that's what he was supposed to be. Zach Galifianakis, Zach Galifianakis is as the villain. the villain. Wow. Yeah, interesting turn for him. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a teaser. I had to look at it again. Although the definition of teaser is getting stretched further and further. <laughs> like, that <laughs> God, was... every time. That was just under two minutes. That's That's almost full trailer at this point. Right. But yeah, I mean, a great start. I mean, this film is still like God. It looked like you said 2018, right? Oh, uh, so it it's probably a year away. I, I'll bet it's like a summer release or just before summer. So it looks great considering it's the middle it's still so release far away. for 2018. Yeah. yeah. Well, it say it said March at the end, right? March. Okay, there you go. Yeah, wow, early, yeah, yeah. it said March. So, so yeah, they've got time. Already, to, it's yeah. probably almost done with. Uh, it's probably moving into post production in the next like month or so. Yeah. And considering that, been, it looks great. I would say. Yeah, so definitely going to keep an eye on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to anybody who's watching this video. Make sure to hit that sub button here at youtube.com slash Network if you want to see some more of these reactions. If you want to see them live, just come to twitch.tv slash show and follow us there. Until next time, take care, and as always, don't forget to level up.